Ever feel like your characters are too visible? Sounds like you want to learn how to fade out. Okay, so first we want to pick the character that we want to fade out. So in order to pick a character, you want to pick this gray plus button in the corner. So let's pick, I don't know, Cosmic Cody. And let's add a new rule. Okay, so we're in the Wens menu. So you can decide when you want Cosmic Cody to fade out, but I'm gonna pick when iPad is tapped. And now this is actually quite easy. It's literally just two blocks. So the first block is gonna be set invisibility, which you can find in looks and sounds. So pull that out. And we are going to set it to something special. So the first thing we need to do is add the plus operator right under random. So tap on that. And so for the first bubble, we're going to pick a value. So go to values right next to calculator. And we want to pick Cody's invisibility as a percent. So right now, if you can see Cody fully, that means that this number equals zero. The higher this number is, up to 100, the more invisible Cody is. If it's at 100, then he's completely unseeable. So then for the second number, we're going to add one. And I'll explain why in a second. So the second block we need to use is down here in control flow. And it's repeat, not repeat forever, just repeat. So pull that out and put the set invisibility block inside the repeat. And change the bubble for how many times you repeat to 100. And that's literally it. So what does this mean? Well, so before anything happens, if you can see Cody, that means that his invisibility as a percent is zero. So when we go through this loop the first time, we're going to add 1 to it. But that makes this number different. So now this number is 1. So the second time we go through this loop, we're going to add 1 to it again, and this becomes 2. So every time we go through, we're adding 1 to this number until it becomes 100. So let's see what that looks like. If I tap on the iPad, it disappears. <gasps> Incredible. All right. So that's how you fade out, and that's, that's literally all you need to do. But I'll teach you one more thing. Let's go back to edit. Let's say you want him to fade back in. Well, then we're going to change things a little bit. So you drag this off, and we're going to use the minus this time. And we're going to do the same thing again. So for the first bubble is Cody's invisibility as a percent, which is a value. So find invisibility as a percent, and then just subtract 1 from that. But this doesn't work unless Cody is already at 100% invisibility. So if you want to see that, we need to add a new rule so that when the project starts, or when the play button is tapped, set Cody invisible. So go to looks and sounds, pick set invisibility, and make that 100. So when the project starts, he's gone. But if you tap, he reappears. Isn't that awesome? Okay, maybe I'll teach you one more thing quickly. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this rule. And let's go back to when it was fading out. And the way to do that quickly again is the plus button, values, Cody's invisibility is a percent, and 100 times you add 1. But if you want that to happen faster, then instead of 1, add 2 and repeat that 50 times. Because 50 times 2 is 100, just as 100 times 1 was 100. So let's see what this looks like. If you tap, you phase out twice as fast. There you go, you just learned how to fade in and out. And I can't wait to see what awesome things you all make with this. You can make movie trailer titles fade in or out, game trailer titles, you can have characters fading in or out. I, I don't even know what kind of stuff you guys are gonna make, but I'm so excited to see it, and I'll see you next time.